Hey guys, so I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd do a video that I think I've done before, but I'd go over it again. And basically what it is, is how to diagnose a blown head gasket in your uh, air compressor. Now in my case, uh, my air compressor is one I bought from Princess Auto quite a few years ago. I don't know if they still sell that exact model anymore. Um, they source it from a company called Eagle, which I believe is based out of Winnipeg. Uh, and all the parts come from China anyway, so I suspect this is the same compressor you can get anywhere probably for a half a dozen different brands. In my case, it's a three-cylinder single-stage air compressor. Um, first off, I guess you'd start off with how do I know that I have a problem with my air compressor? Well, in my case, um, I noticed two things. I noticed that I, first off, I smelled hot, and since the only thing that was running in my shop at the time was my uh, air compressor and you know obviously I went over here the second thing I noticed was it was taking a, a really long time to pump up so the first thing I did was I used my temperature you know contactless temperature sensor to check the cylinder head temperatures I noticed that out of these three here's the unit this one was fine this well it was this one was 200 Fahrenheit which is you know the outside limits of what I like to have going. I have my fan going at the time as well. And uh, this one was about 200 and this one was like 280. So, you know, right there I knew something was a problem. But, you know, in case they all were reading fairly similar, the other thing I check is, is that I hold my hand over the uh, vent here and be careful not to burn yourself because sometimes uh, it can be pretty hot. Uh, felt a little bit of puffing here, a little bit of puffing here. When I did it to this one, I noticed quite a bit of puffing and uh, and it was hot. The I was feeling hot air, you know, coming out of there. And so what that told me at that point was the gasket, and there's uh, two in the heads of these things, had blown. And uh, at that point, I can show you the gasket. I pulled it out. I haven't finished pulling this thing apart yet, but uh, when I lifted the head off, I pulled the gasket out, and you can see right there, it's clearly it's done. So at that point, it's a question of just taking it apart. Taking it apart isn't too hard. There's four cap screws in here. Uh, they're not torqued very tight, so you don't have to retorque them very hard. But in order to get the head off, you have to take uh, the... Uh, air out, outlet uh, off, otherwise you can't take the head off, you can't move it, these are not flexible, and uh, and at that point if you tried to flex it, you probably would damage something and you know have a bigger problem. So what I'll do is I'll take the head off, I'll show you what the head looks like inside. Yeah, you have to take, I could probably get away without taking the head off, but there's, uh, clearly I could see that all of the gasket didn't come out of it there, and also in the process of doing this, the reeds usually fall out and you don't want to lose those. So give me a minute and we'll have a look at it apart. Okay, so there's the head off and uh, the gasket just obviously just sits on top of here like that. And you can see it blew out. I would say it probably the gasket was facing that way when it blew out because this would be the low pressure. Oh, actually, no, that's right. Yeah. I would say it was facing this way because this is the low pressure intake side, this is the outlet. Um, but you know, not that it really matters. Uh, doesn't look like there, you know, here's a little piece I pulled out uh, of the cylinder. Um, doesn't look like it's all there, so I don't know where the rest of it went. Uh, it might have fallen on the floor when I took the head off, or it might be in the tank, or it might be who knows. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I rotated the uh, compressor over by hand and didn't hear anything rattling so I'll say I'll take a chance and leave it as is. Now about this head now the first time I blew one of these head gaskets this is the third time I've had to repair it uh, it blew here now the second time it blew it blew on the gasket here and it's not obvious and I took me a while to notice it but this piece and this piece are two separate pieces and there's an identical gasket between the two. So, you know, just buyer beware if you see that. Also, these reeds, they will fall out. There's nothing holding them in except for the head when it's sitting on the uh, cylinder. 
So uh, keep an eye on those two because I spent a few minutes looking for one and realized that it was still on top of the cylinder. So I lucked out on that one. They look a little bit beat. I would call these reed valves. I don't know what uh, the proper term is, but that's what I would call them uh, regardless. This is the replacement gasket. Now the first time it blew, uh, I bought like a, probably a dozen of them. I cleaned them out at the Princess Auto. And if you're wondering, that's the part number at that time. Now this was quite a while ago. This might be almost 10 years ago that I bought these. So that, value, that number may not be valid. You have to ask for them. They don't keep them on the floor. So just to bear in mind, if you're somewhere else, well, your mileage may vary. You'll have to look for a uh, you know, cylinder head gasket for an air compressor. So anyways, so that's the typical failure mode for these. The, uh, this is the third time I've had one of those fail, and they all, all fail the same way. They fail in the middle. I suspect it's because the machine was running hot, or I was running it uh, continuously, and it got hot, and the, this is just aluminum, and it just failed that way. Regardless, uh, the only other points I probably could make is... Uh, when you're taking it apart, I would suggest that you leave the bolts for last and undo the coupler here first before you undo the head bolts because uh, then you're going to be reaming on the, uh, on the uh, uh, high pressure tube on the high pressure tube and that's probably not a good idea. This way you're, you're pulling on the head itself when you're loosening it and the head is, is solidly attached in that case. Uh, the other thing I wanted to make a point of saying was don't lose the lock washers that are with these things. They were not tight on my machine, so uh, I wouldn't uh, suggest that you torque them really, really hard. Anyways, guys, I'm going to put this back together. Uh, I don't think that you need to see that. There's nothing special going on there. I might. I'm really reluctant to put any kind of oil or anything to retain these on here. So I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that. I don't want to contaminate the air compressor. But then again, you know, I've got greasy hands. I've, I'm putting some contamination in here regardless. And I do have a downstream filter anyways for painting. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll be posting more videos soon. Honestly, sometimes I wish that my hobby involved welding smaller things together. Rather than some rather substantial things. Anyways guys, later.